morning. I'm back up at Jamnik at the church, which is St. Primoz. It's far enough this morning. You can probably see by my uh, tannish red face. And um, here we are. You go, you can't see it very well um, in the front camera. Really, 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 really nice fiery sun rise over these silhouetted mountains um, with the church just here still lit up looking really really nice um, no polarizer because the sun's coming up right behind it and I don't think it's going to do much um, shooting with a soft grad filter on and I'm also shooting HDRs because this is such good shots I'll probably only use the center frame but I don't want to risk um, blowing anything out I'm just taking the shots as I'm talking to you because I can't really miss the light. Yeah, really, really happy with this. Um, there was a bit of mist on the way up here coming through the valley, but there's none here. You can't see any from, from this location. A um, few wisps uh, down here you can just make out, but they're not really going to make it into the image. Um, yeah, so I've got the 24 to 105 on still and I'm just doing a few different compositions, well, same composition really, just a few different zooms and moving. I'm either shooting um, for the ridge here, uh, along here, you can make that out, um, where the road goes, and the other way I'm kind of shooting is into this gorgeous light here. And you can see a bit of mist coming up here. If I re-expose you, so you can see it a bit better. Um, so I might just walk around that way any minute, just quickly to see if I can get a different composition shooting down into that light a bit more. Um, although I do like the way the ridge looks along here. But yeah, this is absolutely awesome. Um, really, really happy with this. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna run around now doing a few different compositions. Um, I won't be getting the drone in there this morning. Um, I made enough noise of it yesterday and um, yeah, I'll probably recycle a bit of footage from that. It'll be in both the blogs, but you know, it shows off the area. So I'll catch up with you in a minute. Um, let you know how I got on. The light's still far enough and it started really early this morning, about half an hour, 45 minutes before sunrise, this started kicking off. So um, I was rushing this morning to get her in time. I'll catch up with you in a minute. You know me. Take the time to dig deep Underneath this red heat We could really I've come to that different composition I was talking about, which is literally 10 meters, 20 minutes away from where I was before. Um, I've already done a panoramic stitch, which takes us from the church um, around to this kind of valley, these really nice gradients in these um, peaks here. The light's not the best anymore. We've lost all the kind of really red sky. Um, so it's just going to be a waiting game now to see when that sun comes up, see if we can get some trails. It should be coming up roughly around about where my finger is here. So it should work quite well with the composition where I was before. Um, what I'm doing now though is I'm just taking some tele shots of the church. Um, fully zoomed in at 200 mil. Um, you won't be able to make that out on the back of the camera, I doubt it. But I'm just going for this nice... Um, leading line that's going on here you've got a bit of a path where people have been walking down and also the road or the path coming up to the church uh, with a tree here and a, a few little trees dotted in there um, and then similar lines in the road that's handy isn't that? similar lines in the road that also um, match the, the shape of the peak so there's quite a few lines in this one it works quite nicely even though you're capping out a lot of the really nice mountain range. Um, I think it works quite well as a, as a tele shot as well as this church. Um, simply shooting at, um, say, 200 mil. I have got the, the grad filter on again. 
um, just to try and help with it. I'm shooting HDRs as well, just as a, a kind of backup uh, insurance policy as such. I'm shooting an F13 ISO with 100, and that's giving me anywhere from one second to a fourth of a second exposure time um, throughout that HDR shot. So yeah, really liking it. I keep on having to move because the cars are coming around the corner, but um, working quite well so far. So I'll um, get a few more of these in the bag and then I'll go and get back to the van and um, I'll set up, try and work out where the sun's gonna come up on a few apps. And um, I'll catch up with you then and see if we can get some sun trails out of it as well. Or starbursts, I never know what they're called. And everything's so much easier We don't need to work so hard We don't need to act strong It's been too long come to the next location so after you saw me this morning I did quite a bit of driving through Slovenia um, not too far but it was a good two hours of driving but quite nice and relaxed so I think I'm right in saying this I think Slovenia has about 50% of its land is still forests and I was probably driving about 15 miles through quite a high alpine forest it was really nice um, what I did is I went to the very top of it stopped off kind of tidy the van out and did a few things and um it's actually really nice you can look right out for a clearing across all the peaks and where this really nice light came up creating all these gradients across the peaks so i got the, the telephoto out and did um some quite long long tight shots of that and they've come out quite nicely actually so I'll, I'll stick them up so so you know what i'm on about um after that i've kind of been making my way to where i now went past a quite a nice village with a really cool church with a nice meadow in front of it and i use that for a bit of foreground interest to um get quite a, quite a nice picture of the church there now at the moment it's midday and i've come to um lake bonja or bingy um i'm not sure how you pronounce it exactly it's really nice picturesque kind of high-ish alpine lake here um set amongst these forests and it's really really pretty it's not too busy here it's quite touristy but um it's nothing like lake bled Although, to be fair, I've not been there yet, but I've heard uh, this is the, the lot quieter to want to go to. Um, most of the kind of pictures with the peaks and the, the mountains in the background, I think, have to be had that way. You can probably just see through the clearing there that there's a, um, a peak there if I can get it to expose. Um, but what I've done now is I kind of got away from all the crowds over there where the pontoons are, and I've come to this, like, private jetty I think so I'm not going to be here too long just to shoot a picture of this um, this church over here and some of the reflections so I'm going to be taking a landscape and portrait shot there's also quite a nice bridge to the right of it just here so I'm going to be trying getting that in the shot as well now this boat's just come past and made all these reflections I'm going to have to wait about five minutes for them to calm down um, but it's quite a still day, so we might end up getting a, quite a nice reflection shot here. Probably going to be a bit broken, not going to be perfect, but should have a bit of interest in it. Um, so this is going to be me for the next half an hour, really, probably just driving around, seeing what I can find. Um, if I get any decent shots, so I'll, I'll put them up. I probably won't vlog anywhere um, while I'm up here. 
I don't think, to be honest, I'm going to find much amazing, uh, anything more amazing than this, to be honest. Um, so this afternoon, probably going to head to Lake Bled, hopefully get another nice sunrise, or uh, sunset, and probably try and be there for the sunrise in the morning as well. Give out that loca uh, location two more chances, or give it two chances full stop. Um, so yeah, I'll continue on now. I'm, all I'm really shooting with here is a polarizer and a 10 stop Lee Grad filter. It's so bright today that I can easily shoot with a 10 stop without it going too extreme. So I'll catch up with you um, in a bit. Hope for you like the images from this location. Sailors passing on the street, are you ready for peace? Mm -hmm. Ships are filling up fast, are you ready for ease? Mm -hmm. Forget bad memories and Leave those hurt and knees behind Birds are filling up the sky Are you willing to try? Why? Sing along as they howl and be fulfilled oh. Maybe Steady, we will be the confetti. If we fail, we just reboot. Mm. Grass is greener on this side. Are you ready? Lake Bled now. Here it is. Yeah, cool place. Um, if you come to Lake Bled, this is what you're going to photograph, to be honest. Um, sunrise today is going to be happening over here. Oh, sorry, sunset. Um, so I've come this side of it so I can get the, the kind of light rather than being in silhouette when the sun goes down. Um, I'm all set up. I've got a polarizer, although it's not really doing anything at the moment. Um, but when it gets a bit darker, it might start bringing out some of the colours in the clouds a bit better. And also, um, I've got just a soft grad on there. I'm going to wait for it to get dark enough before I start doing um, long exposures. I'm not going to bother with an ND filter. Probably going to wreck the colours in it. Biggest problem I've got at the moment is there's a lot of reflections on... this part of the lake here so um, it's not coming out really good in the pictures at the moment so hopefully as the sun gets darker or sets more um, hopefully those reflections are going to be less intense and it should come out a bit nicer um, I'll be doing a mixture of wide and tele shots and I'm going to try and have this on to the right of the image because I'm shooting it to um... so I have to keep on stopping because I'm on this big uh, walkway here um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be doing some tele shots and some wide angles. I'm liking the wide angles more at the moment, to be honest, um, simply because they're going to be catching this cloud. And I'm not shooting straight onto it. In an ideal world, I'll probably be about 200 metres further up the boardwalk there so I could shoot bang on dead level with it, simply because it means that the bottom of Lake Bled, or the bit in the middle, I don't know what it's called, the island is going to be dead level on the shot by coming at a different angle, it's gonna be slightly skewed. Um, 
there is a bit of luck. I think the church on it isn't a hundred percent straight, so I can probably fix it in post without that church getting bent and it looking looking um, unnatural. Um, but yeah, what I'm doing is, um, like I say, I've come further down the boardwalk so I can get these clouds in, and I'll be shooting with this to the right of the picture, um, with the clouds into the left, and they're just starting to pick up a bit of colour now. You can see. Uh, that's all there is to say about it. I'm going to try and stay away from HDRs. There's not enough difference in the uh, the light at the moment um, or the dynamic range for me to need a um, HDR shot. I should just be able to get away with some filters. Um, so yeah, I'll crack on, get some shots. Uh, if I change location, I'll come back to you with um, a different composition. If not, um, I'll probably come back to you a bit later if the light kicks off um, or to let you know how it goes. So I'll catch up with you in a minute. Me. Take the time to dig deep Underneath this red heat We could really Don't be. 